All right, so here we have the cheetah, but now we have two objects that are not changing. It's position, we have two trees. Now let's, for convenience, call this one tree A, this will be tree B. We're indicated at the initial time, so let's just say the cheetah is here at time zero. So notice that if we were going to draw the position vector, again, a vector is a direct line segment, we need to first come up with an origin. So if we choose A as the origin, and for convenience, place it at the ground. So once we place it there, we can draw a position vector, which is from the origin to where the cheetah is at that time, and in the direction, so it's towards the cheetah there. That's our first position vector. Let's call this one D initial. Initial is the number zero, and it belongs to A. And it's a vector quantity, so put the hat in there. But we can argue that we could place another coordinate system if we wanted to along the tree B. So let's try to use a different color, we'll use blue. So the initial position vector from the second tree, tree B, this is an arrow, this is D initial B. So notice that they can both say, oh, the cheetah is some distance away from the tree and you can get the direction, but you can describe the position of the cheetah depending on the origin. So if we had two friends, our friend tree A and our friend tree B, they're not going to be friends for long because they're going to be arguing, A, we're measuring a different position for our cheetah. So how do we make them friends again? Hmm. That's what we're looking at today. So let's suppose that our cheetah is moving to the right. So this would be the first frame. Okay, so our cheetah has moved to the right. Now we can draw a new set of position vectors at time one. And again, how do we draw position vectors? From the origin to where the object is with the direction. So we can call the second position vector D1A. And again, the position vector from the second tree is going to be different as well. We can call this D1B. Now it's starting to get a bit messy, I apologize, but I'm going to try to make the best of this right now. So notice that depending on the coordinate system, we have different position vectors and the cheetah moves to the right, so they both are not agreeing on anything. So in order for them to both agree, they need to come up with a new quantity. They can both agree that the cheetah has moved some distance to the right. And we can actually measure this distance. So they can both agree that the cheetah has moved this much distance to the right. Hmm. So that's what we're going to try to find today. So we're going to call that quantity our displacement vector. Now the definition that we're going to use for displacement vector is going to be the change in position. So if we're looking at the change in position, this should remind you of a mathematical symbol commonly used as delta. How do we define the variable for position? We use letter D. So we can call this delta D. And since this quantity, it turns out, is also a vector quantity, we need to include the arrow there. So in general, in general, it could be the final position that you're interested in, F for final, minus the initial position that you're interested in. So we have a new equation. Wow, our first one in the course is part. So displacement is the change in position. Okay, so we have a new equation here, change in position, and again, final for whatever final time you're considering, and then whatever initial time you're considering. So we want to do some calculations here. So let's try to calculate the displacement, considering tree A, 
separately and I consider 3B separately. So again, considering from the A point of view and the B point of view. So let's write the two equations. Delta D A equals to D one A minus D initial A. If you consider it from B, it's delta D B. D one B minus D initial B. All right, so now it's a bit trickier. Oh wow, this is uh, complicated. I need to calculate a subtraction for quantity. I don't even know. I just learned the recent is a vector. So it turns out that we need to actually learn how to add and subtract these new quantities, which are vector quantities. So I'm going to give you my very quick version of this. So we're going to come back to this subtraction. So we're going to do a mathematical aside.